Structure limit in eternal land has been reached. Build as much as your heart wants, they said. Six limited generators and only a allowed 11,535 rating. Yep, yeah, well, that was fun. What? You get a whole island to yourself and you're only allowed to build a bridge, a lighthouse, a castle on top of a mountain. How dare I? Hey everyone, Cable Car here. What you just saw was Divine Chaos finding out that there appears to be a limit on building in Eternal End. So while we're on the topic, let's go over a few quick tips and functionality of how Eternal Land actually works. To access Eternal Land, you can either go from the main menu or in-game here by pressing escape, then clicking this little island icon, then clicking enter Eternal Land. Eternal Land is a, like a playground that's separate from scenarios where you can build stuff, have social activities, and it's outside of the scenarios of the main server. Inside of Eternal Land, if you go back to that menu, there's a couple of options here, shop order and manage. If you go into manage, you can set a bunch of different settings here. You can set the time to make it morning if you like. There's some interesting ones here like activities. You can set combat and weapons. So say you wanna make a gladiator ring and have people fight to the death with melee weapons like baseball bats or stun batons. You could set that up here in the settings by having PVP enabled with melee weapons only. So there's a few options here to take a look at when you're setting up your eternal end. The other option in there is shop order. And this is where we'll be doing a lot of the other activities inside of eternal end when it comes to gathering your currency and building stuff. So if we look at the top right here, there's two different types of currencies. The first one is called astral sand. This is the main resource for building things. So instead of needing stone or logs or bricks, you use sand here in Eternal Land. The other one is called Astrolite, and this is for buying things that are exclusive to Eternal Land, such as the trees and the shrubs. So how do we get this sand? Well, there's a couple of ways. If we go here to the cell tab while we're under island shop, this has pulled all my inventory from the scenario in game. So I have all my stuff here. I have my logging chainsaw, my fishing rod, some logs, and each of these sell for different amounts of astral sand. So I can sell portable mixed fuel for 10. Canned lunch meat is pretty good at 2000. So this is a way where you can get rid of your excess resources and turn it into sand for building. At the moment of this video, I would probably not recommend selling your deviations because the developers have stated that they want to make a way to combine these in game so that you can level up your deviations so that you can combine them to make a higher level one. So I'd probably hold off on these selling these for now. So that's how you can sell stuff to get sand. The other way is clicking this order tab here. And this is similar to commissions, like a job board, task list. So you do these things, you gather these items, and then you get astral sand and astrolite. Most of these are fishing or farming related. To purchase stuff using your astrolite, the other resource, you go back to the island shop you go to purchase and you click this little chest icon here and here is where you can see all those trees and shrubs you can get some different types of stones to put everywhere and you can even get three of these uh, canvases which are just like quick travel points 
which are pretty cool. The only other thing for Eternal Land is this Export Resources tab, which is kind of unknown at the moment. We'll have to wait and see when it actually happens. But the idea with this is at the end of the season, you'll receive a certain amount of points to bring stuff over to the next season. So you can bring some items with you from Eternal Land into the next season. And each of these costs a certain amount of points, and then you only have a certain amount of points here to bring over. So you can't bring over everything. You'll have to pick and choose what you want to bring over. And that's about it.